CBS Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Welcome back to the New York Jets franchise, everyone. This week, the Jets take on the Cleveland Browns in a division round matchup here in a snowy MetLife Stadium. The Jets took it to the Browns in a Week 11 matchup here at home, winning 31-14. Unfortunately, the Browns are a little beat up with their starting center Adrian Cardona and outstanding slot cornerback Nelson Alexander out with injuries among some backup depth as well. However, that doesn't make one Baker Mayfield any less threatening. He has weapons like Nick Chubb, Odell Beckham, Jarvis Landry, and David Njoku. So this could be a serious test for the number one defense that New York has. On defense, Cleveland has a disruptive force in Miles Garrett on the line. And with 21 sacks on the season, the Jets, <laughs> I think, will need to establish a run because the less times Darnold is back in the pocket, the better as far as opportunities for big plays are concerned. Joe Schobert is in the middle of the field and you have Denzel Ward and Greedy Williams on the outside at the cornerback spots. So if the passing game has to become a focus for the Jets, they may have trouble. Can the offense be trouble for the Browns defense? Can the Jets take the bite out of the dogs? Let's find out as they take on the Browns in an AFC division round matchup here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Jamichael Castle is back deep as Trent Lyon gets us underway here in MetLife. Castle brings it out and is finally tackled at the 27-yard line. Baker Mayfield with 37 touchdowns this season and just over 3,650 yards to his credit. He is looking to add on to that total today. Play action pass, it's complete out on the perimeter. Tight end Will Disley is the first to make a reception in this game. Up the middle goes Nick Chubb, not very much going for him three yards now second and seven again trying to go up the middle bounces it out to the right and gets the first down out to the 47 seven yards after contact and that is where you're going to see uh, the biggest part of his game and odell beckham jr is caught in the backfield that is a loss on the play back to the 46 third and 17 and that pass by baker mayfield was so far off target so the jets hold and they get the ball at the seven yard line pass goes to ross up the middle and he has the first down out to the 20. up the middle goes jackson and that is going to be a big part of their game plan he is trying to make the run work for them. Wesco gets the first down out to the 31. Pass upcoming screen out to Jackson. Right side and he goes to the 37 for a six yard gain. Jackson on another trap play. Goes up the middle for the first down to the 47 yard line. Now a pass to Herndon and that is complete. A five yard pickup to the 48 of the Browns. And up the middle goes Josh Jacobs. A four yard pickup, third and one. A spin move by Jacobs and he picks up the first down to the 40 yard line. Jackson alone in the backfield. A pass and Darnold goes down in the arms of Miles Garrett. And that could be a problem for the Jets this afternoon. Miles Garrett is a strong one and here he gets to him again. 
making his second sack on the afternoon on back-to-back -back plays. Third and 24. Darnold steps up, throws deep, and it is incomplete, intended for John Ross. So the Browns hold and get the ball back at the 31-yard line. Chubb headed left and is finally stopped at the 39 for an eight-yard pickup. Second and two, and down goes Mayfield. Blake Cashman came in unblocked, and that brings us to the end of quarter number one with your score zero to zero. Mayfield out of the shotgun, back to throw, and completes this one to Jarvis Landry. A first down to the 49 of the Jets, and in comes Demarcus Faulkner, stopping Chubb in the backfield for a two-yard loss. And up the middle goes Chubb to the 42, leaving a third and three. Again, Chubb up the middle is stopped by Taj Little. That brings up fourth and one and a punt. Back to field it is Howard, and he barely gets a hold of it before he is taken down at the eight-yard line. Jackson up the middle, and he has a first down out to the 21-yard line, and the running game of the Jets seems to be working really good, and out and going through the middle, is Jackson and he's all the way to the 25 of the Browns. That was just awesome blocking and Jackson goes untouched through the line. A pass, a screen to Jackson and he is taken down at the 19. Second and five. Jacobs takes it for the first down. Did they give it to him? Yes, so on second and nine. Darnold back to pass, completes it. Across the middle to Howard. Third and two, and up the middle goes Jackson for the first down to the three, and that will give the Jets a first and goal situation. Back to pass, and a screen to Jackson. He's in there for the score. The Jets trying to keep it simple for Darnold. A screen pass out of the backfield. And that one is so wide open and Jackson goes untouched into the end zone. After the Browns go three and out, the punt is on the way. Howard fields it inside his 30 and he makes a cut. He's out in the open. He might go all the way, touchdown. Jets, a 75-yard punt return, and the Jets now have the opportunity to go up 13 to nothing. They missed the field goal, I mean the extra point, and they missed it again. So it's 12 to nothing, and it's intercepted. Lorenzo Carter scores. 22 yards on the return, and the Jets are taking a big lead into halftime if this uh, stands. Mayfield trying to get something started, and he got it started all right, throwing it into the hands of Lorenzo Carter and giving the Jets a 19 to nothing lead. Up the middle goes Chubb. To the 30-yard line. Second and five. Mayfield back to pass. Completes this one. Cameron Meredith makes the grab and gets tackled at the 46 of the Jets. And this one is complete as well. Second-year man Eric Wilson out of Clemson takes it to the 26. Back to pass. Mayfield connects again with Meredith and it's a timeout Browns from the five yard line now and that is a touchdown. Eric Wilson 
catches it over the middle and into the end zone. The Jets were caught in a run-heavy defensive effort, and Wilson was alone over the middle of the field with absolutely nobody even remotely close to him. So it's now 19 to seven. The Jets content with taking it into halftime with a 19 to seven lead. The Jets have made a statement with the run game here in the first half. Now let's go to Eurocat baby for a halftime report. We'll get you back to the action in East Rutherford in a moment. But if you've been watching the ticker at the bottom of the play screen, you know that the other AFC Divisional Round contest has been decided already. The Indianapolis Colts have defeated the Baltimore Ravens 33-27. The Ravens tied the ball game in the fourth quarter, forcing the game into overtime. But they couldn't hold off a hot-handed Andrew Luck that threw the winning touchdown pass. So if the Jets can hold on for this win, the Colts will be stampeding their way to the AFC Championship game here in MetLife. But for that to happen, can New York keep the pressure on the quick-scoring Browns? Stay with us to find out what happens, because we'll be right back. Welcome back to MetLife Stadium blanketed in snow. In a special teams and defense dominated second quarter, the Jets have jumped out to a 19-7 lead here at the break. Will the domination continue, or will Baker Mayfield bring the Browns back to move on to the AFC Championship game? The Jets have found good running room up the middle. Will the Browns find a way to defend that success, or can the Jets keep eating up yards, and more importantly, time with the ground game? Let's find out as we continue our coverage here in East Rutherford. The Jets start the second half at their own 26 yard line. Darnold back to pass and it's incomplete, almost intercepted. Greedy Williams almost getting his hands on the ball. A back to pass again. And this one is complete to Herndon on third and nine, picking up the first down. Now from the 37, back to pass again, and incomplete. Howard just couldn't hang on to that football. Back to pass again on third and 10, throws, come, oh my goodness. That one is almost intercepted by Denzel Ward. Now, from the 23 yard line, Baker Mayfield goes down. Demarcus Faulkner gets him back at the 16 yard line, bringing up a third and 18. Out of the shotgun, back to pass, throws over the middle and it's intercepted. Jamal Adams takes it back to the 21 yard line. Obviously Mayfield just didn't see him over the middle of the field, and that one is picked off. Adams is now in the zone, and will get an extra boost as a result of that interception. And after a short pickup, it's third and seven. From the 18 yard line, Darnold back to pass, a screen, and a first down out to the left side by Jackson. Now at the nine yard line and a first and goal. And down goes Darnold. This time in the arms of Bennett Adams back at the 20. Back to pass again. And this one is complete to Herndon. Touchdown, Jets. Crossing the middle of the field Herndon was all alone on that left side, and all Darnold had to do was throw it up and get it in the right position, and across the goal line he goes. That makes the score 26 to seven in favor of the Jets. And Baker Mayfield, when have you ever seen him held to just nine attempts through 
basically two and a half quarters. Chubb up the middle, has just a little bit of room. Out to the 33, now third and two, and a first down out to Wilson. Tackled at the 43 yard line. Now with a gas, Nick Chubb up the middle he goes, powers his way for a six yard gain to midfield. And that's how dangerous he can be even if he's tired. That one's incomplete. He can really do some damage. Dewey punts this one away, and it goes out of bounds at the five-yard line. So the Jets are going to start in a hole again. Jackson takes it up the middle, and he is out past the 10 to the 12-yard line. Again, he gets the call, and this time he does not make the first down, but Joe Schobert is down and being escorted back to the locker room. That could be a big problem for the Browns, especially over the middle of the field. And the 21, the pass is caught. Ross out to the 30-yard line for a nine-yard pickup. Second and one, and Jackson picks up the first down, and that will bring us to the end of the third quarter with your score 26 to seven, Jets. Jackson alone in the backfield, gets the ball, heads right, ooh, makes a nice little juke move and has the first down all the way to the 42 of the Browns. And now in another run heavy set. Jackson makes a couple of moves and is all the way out to the 35. And Joey Sanders is injured, but on the sideline, it, he may be okay. Second and three. Donald is back, throws complete to Herndon. And he's tackled at the 31 and he is not getting up being escorted back to the locker room, and that doesn't look good for the Jets. Jackson, another nice run. A six yard pickup to the 25. And powering his way, picks up the first down to the 19 yard line. And the Jets are having their way with this front line of the Browns. Third and five now. And the pass is almost intercepted way off line. And that brings out Trent Lyon. And he boots through a 31 yard field goal to make it 29 to seven. Tall order for the Browns to come back in this one. Back is Mayfield throws, and that was caught by Wilson at the 29-yard line, but it brings up fourth and one. The offense stays on the field, and Chubb picks up the first down, tackled by Harvey Gabriel, but not in time. Third and 10, and that draws the flag. The pass intended for OBJ and Julian Love is the guilty party. So it gives the Browns a fresh set of downs and down comes OBJ with the pass at the 25 yard line. That was an outstanding acrobatic effort right there. And passing across the middle is intercepted by Lorenzo Carter, his second on the afternoon. And that if the Jets are very successful with this, that could be the end of the football game. It just depends on whether or not they're able to hang on to the ball and the backups are in the game. Jacobs. Takes it up the middle to the 21 yard line. Five yard pickup and again it's Jacobs and he has the first down out to the 27. 
Now on second and 13, the screen pass to Odom. And he breaks tackles and is out to the 39 for first down. And that brings us to the two minute warning. Second and 11. Jacobs gets the call and he is absolutely snowed under by a host of Browns at the 32 yard line. Third and 17. And the draw play goes to Jacobs and he is out to the 38. Philip Hawkins is injured on the play, but he is on the sideline. Looks to be okay. Mayfield now, 22 seconds left. And this one is incomplete intended for Beckham. Now on second down, Mayfield back to pass again. Throws and it's intercepted. Justin Lane takes it back to the eight yard line. And that very well is the end of the football game. It's nice to see the backups really get involved in the football game. And that is evidenced there by Justin Lane making that interception. That pass was tried lots by Mayfield today. And in the victory formation is Ramsey and this is over. 29 to seven is your score and 182 yards rushing by the Jets and they take the win quite easily. Talk about domination. The backups kept the ball moving in the right direction late in the game and the defense just kept doing what they did the entire game. Keep the pressure on Baker Mayfield. Offensively, it wasn't a banner day for either team, but the Jets accomplished what they set out to do, and that was to establish the run. 182 yards on the ground was evidence that they were focused on pounding the rock. I have to say that I was impressed, though. Darnold didn't throw any picks in this game, although there were a couple of close calls. The defense holding Cleveland to just 176 yards of offense was outstanding. I don't know what was more impressive, holding Chubb to just 56 yards rushing or holding Mayfield to 140 passing yards. More importantly, the defense forced four interceptions in the game forcing Baker Mayfield to throw the ball so badly at times that it ended in four picks. <laughs> Exceptional, since he came into this game with only 10 for the entire season. And there were plenty of players getting upgrades out of this game, but just a few highlights are left guard Jeremy Irons getting a power upgrade and now a 90 overall. Middle linebacker Ja'Kai Polite getting a field general upgrade that gives him a nice boost to his zone coverage skills. Backup left outside linebacker Lorenzo Carter getting a run stopper upgrade. And finally wide receiver Terry McLaurin with a physical upgrade that boosts his catching in traffic and awareness the most. With that win, the Jets move forward in the playoffs to the AFC Championship. As was noted before in the halftime report, it'll be against the Indianapolis Colts. New York has the opportunity to avenge a week eight loss 16 to seven to the Colts and move on to Super Bowl 58. Andrew Luck and the Colts scoring arsenal are going to be the next test for the New York defense Will the defense that has put pressure on every quarterback and running attack for the last six weeks be able to do it again? The defense, beside a little bit of a crack in the middle of the line, is rock solid. Darius Leonard and Devondre Campbell in the middle of the defense are there in support, so it may be a little harder to find room for the New York running attack. 
Seeing how the secondary gave Darnold some fits in coverage in the last meeting, it might be wise for him to limit his range a bit and hope that the running game can be established. Oh, and by the way, Chris Herndon is going to be able to play next week in the championship game. It was a non-serious wrist, uh, more like a tendonitis type thing, So, and they decided to go ahead and keep him out of the game, but he has been cleared to play. Now, over in the NFC, we had the Saints win over the Falcons by 11. And the Cowboys defeat the Bears 21-17. So Dallas will travel to the Big Easy to take on the Saints for the NFC Championship. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. The defense came up big again for the Jets. Four interceptions was definitely a season high for Mayfield and held the passing attack of the Browns in check all day long. And can they have just as much success against Luck and company in the AFC Championship in order to go to their second Super Bowl in this series? Will Darnold have a breakout game passing the ball? Or will the Jets be able to establish a running attack dominance like they did in this game? Be with us to find out when the Jets host the AFC Championship against the Indianapolis Colts. And until we see you then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>